Mr. Rogers. I'm here to interview you. It is so nice to meet you. We are trying to give the world positive ways of dealing with their feelings. Yeah? Like what? Mr. Rogers hosted this show called Mr. Rogers' Neighborhood in which he calmly and patiently sent out a message to kids that it's okay to be confused and I like you just the way you are. You love broken people like me. Sometimes we have to ask for help and that's okay. You need people like that to come along every now and again to school. You know what? Just be nice to one another. And shooting in Pittsburgh, you understand the reverence that's held for Fred. It's because the world needs more of them. And all sound. We shot it at WQED on the same stage that he shot. They had the same sets for 40 years. Mr. Rogers' whole mission was it needed to stay familiar to kids, so it couldn't change. So we had to capture that perfectly. It's been so incredible to recreate that set. Just bringing Fred's world to life has been magical. I, mean, I used to watch the show as a kid. This is the neighborhood of make-believe that we've recreated. For this particular set, what was good is that several of the pieces actually exist at the Senator John Hines History Center in downtown Pittsburgh. Recreating all the sets has been great, and it's all fantastic, but it's all in service to the message of the movie. Here we are. This is our first day on our neighborhood set. That's Tom Hanks right over there, wearing the, the same sweater. I wore this as an homage to Fred. It's a very exciting day. The outfits are really good. Arjun Basin, who's just my most amazing costume designer, he's just so incredible. I got a lot of information, actually, from Joanne Rogers herself. She and I sat in Fred's closet together and pulled things that we thought were interesting. Mr. Rogers' cardigans were knit for him by his mother. We thought it was really important, and we had those cardigans recreated the way she would have knit them. The care that went into finding the perfect fabric for the sweaters, or every detail just being exactly right, he did such a beautiful job. Thanks for the chat. With the puppets, we feel like we really captured something and recreated them perfectly. The script called for six primary characters from the land of make-believe. Daniel Tiger is kind of our hero, King Friday the 13th. Queen Sarah, Lady Elaine Fairchild, Henrietta Pussycat, and X the Owl. We start out with a clay sculpt base to make a mold out of that and then press in to part epoxy. It forms in about 24 hours. <laughs> Every little detail, a whisker on Daniel Tiger that was a little droopier than the other whisker, they were recreating every detail so much so that everybody who worked on the program came and went, <gasps> Did you borrow our puppets? The Empire State <laughs> Building looks amazing! <laughs> Katrina Whalen and our team of people who built the miniatures worked for 12 weeks building all the miniatures. We were very fortunate when we started work on the miniature unit that we had access to resources here in Pittsburgh. We were able to go scout the neighborhood model itself. We used various woods. We used some balsa wood, foam core, plywood, pink insulation foam. Some of the hills were carved out of that. We put them through the ringer. I mean, we recreated all of these different miniatures of all of these different locations. The theme of this whole movie could be time and care, because everybody cared and loved what they were doing so much. I walked into the same studio where we did 50 years of work, and it was like a time warp. They did an excellent job of recreating down to the pictures on the wall. When you see the attention to detail that this crew has taken, it is absolutely unbelievable. It's stunning the yeah. amount of work that's gone into putting this together. We were all really surprised. It's just been overwhelming. Oh my gosh, yeah. We all felt a huge amount of pressure to make the people who really had worked and dedicated their lives to Mr. Rogers' Neighborhood proud. We just wanted to do them proud. I think that the best thing that we can do is let people know that each one of us is precious. That was wonderful. Yeah.